Hi guys, good morning from Englishman Foodie. Now, what are you going to do today, Steve? A li little bit of nostalgia. Going back in my old days, I remember coming from school and my old mum says, I've got a Frey Bentos on the oven for you. Oh, you know, with that lovely puff pastry, thick of meat and sauce. It was really lovely on a cold winter's day coming back from school. And about um, when I started this channel, I thought, oh, look, what's in the supermarket in Malta? Frey Bentos steak and kidney pie. Oh, I thought that would be lovely. I'll, when I opened it, I was so disappointed. But are my disappointments going to be pushed aside now because I've got a new one. Frey Bentos steak and kidney pie. Back to our old classic recipe. So is it going to go back to the 70s? Better meat, more of it. Mmm, sounds yummy. But is it? Now we're going to get a robust. <laughs> Hang on, guys. We're going to get a robust. Robust opener. But I don't have one. I've got this from the, from the Ark. I don't know if it's... Still, everything is now is pre opened ones, you know, those. So I've got to see if it still works. And if it opens it. Oh, by the way, pre heated oven 80, 180. What do you mean? It could be worse. You could be married to me. <laughs> you should be so lucky. Don't forget to warm that oven up. Yeah, <laughs> I did it. Wow, that's that's so sharp. Look at this, guys. Be, get, be so careful. <clears throat> Let's just do a test. Oh, no, it's not that sharp. Well, it is quite sharp. But it would... Oh, look at that. And it's perfect to top. Remember that one? Deformed. I had a deformed one last time with a big hole in the middle of it. Tell you something though, even the last one was very, was just like, it was pastry and sauce. There was nothing in it. Steak and kidney. I think I did a chicken as well. I think La bought me over a chicken. This is a steak and kidney and it says, better meat, more of it. We're going back to our classic recipe. Now, you know what I see a lot of people talking about this on YouTube, uh, not this one, but the other one, when they say, oh, that gooey stuff, but it's not puff pastry, it's suet. It's like in the old days when they used to make the dumplings. So if you don't like that sort of suet pastry, uh, my old mum used to make suet dumplings in neck of lamb stew. <laughs> Anybody remember that? Anyway, bung it in the oven, because we've got 30 minutes to go. Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, I've got to put it in a tray, it says. That's all the tray I've got in a mock pirate. I think just in case it leaks out. And it took me about an hour to clean that tray once. So something came, leaked out and went all on the tray. And then when, it, when the trouble is when the oven's on, it gets baked on the tray. So better on something like this. So 30 minutes, more of it, steak and kidney, Frey Bentos. <laughs> Let's see what they're going to give us. Are they going back to the old days? When I was a young lad,
granddad always used to say it was a bloody long way to go for the Lord of the Belgium. The bell tones. <laughs> We're going to try steak and kidney pie from Frey Bentos. Better meat, more of it. And he's going back to their classic recipe. So let's see if they're true to their word. I've got some gloves because it's going to be... Oh, we had some spillage, guys. Good job we put it in that tray. There's a bit of spillage. It's very, very hot. And it didn't seem to puff up. It's very, it's very crunchy, the, the top. It didn't seem, it's been 35 minutes. It didn't seem to puff up as the other one you did, which is a bit strange. Let me get it, let me get it out of this, out of this tray. It's, I can feel the heat from it. We lost, we lost a little bit of sauce. Ah, it's blooming hot. It started to burn a bit around the edge, so it must have been puffed up already. But it don't seem... Um, the towering inferno. Have a look at this, guys. Do you like that gooey? It's it's suet though. It's suet. Oh, there is a there is a bit more meat in it than than that last one. Look at that soggy. <laughs> it's still too hot. I'm gonna let it cool down a bit. But look at that, guys. I can turn it this way a bit. There is a. It's not just sauce. There is a little bit of kidney. Actually, I like this. I got this sort of soft pastry. There's no way, because I, I saw on, unless they were just trying to invent something to make a bit of drama, because that's, that's what sells on YouTube. Uh, the, the pastries, oh, the pastry is disgusting. Why did they do it, Frey Bentos? Listen, these have been selling from the 60s. I think from the 60s it is. Um, it was always like this, the pastry. It's puff pastry and you'll never get like the bottom. If it's against meat, you'll never get it uh, crusty. The top is the top is good. Listen to it. The top is very crusty. Well, not bad, look guys. Quite chunky, and I know the so the, the taste is a. Uh, oh, the taste is fantastic. Very gooey and um, thick sauce. Hmm. Well, it's been thirty minutes, and I I thought it would have risen a lot more than that. But perhaps this new recipe, I can't even remember what it was like the old days. But the last one I did, it come up really high and there was like a, a deforming it. There was like a hole in the thing. I don't know, something at the, pro, at the factory probably. <clears throat> hey, I'm off to a good adventure. It's coming very, very close in the next few weeks on the Travel Channel. I'm going to try and share. I'll probably only be able to share the shorts with you. But it's, see if you can guess where I'm going. Nine hours flight from London. Well, first of all, I've got to get to London. Hey, this is lovely. Um, you've got to like, you've got to like this pastry underneath. This sort of soggy. If you don't like that, then the pie, it's not for you. A lot of people in YouTube call it a soggy mess. But it, it is a bit. But it's been like that for many, many years. 
And true to form, I can't remember the price, I'll put it underneath now how much it is here in Malta, in Euros, but I'll transfer it to Sterling for you. Hmm. Anyway, where am I going? Three hours from here, well, two and a half or three hours, depending on the way, to London. I'm going to do a stopover because I can't trust the flights at the moment. Air Malta, disastrous. Sometimes they're breaking down. And I, I thought I'd give myself a day to catch the plane to go somewhere nine hours from London. So where am I going? It'll be on my travel channel, so go and subscribe to that. And then I'll be putting, I'll be putting some shorts up because I can't do a live. Um, I'm not up to the thousand. I think you have to be a thousand to be. I only got less than two hundred on there. While we're talking about subscribing, really help this channel. I'm forty. I'm forty away from the thousand. Uh, you might say. Oh, I just want to watch you, I don't want to subscribe. But you could miss a short or a live or something on because I might start on this channel some some lives. And you'll really help the channel subscribing. Just 40 more. And once it gets over the thousand, then YouTube starts monetizing. Uh, and then what happens is then they start promoting it because they're making money. And hopefully we can get a few more subscribers here. And I'll put it up a little bit then from um, one a week, maybe I'll start doing two a week. Not bad, this. <coughs> Steve, it's too soggy. <laughs> it's very hot, guys. Even though it's soggy, though, it's got a lot of flavour from the meat. It, you know, you can't fault, you can't fault the flavour of the steak and kidney. It's, it is what it is. It's not, it's not a massive difference from the other one. There is chunks. At least it's not just sauce. I don't think this was the classic recipe. Because I remember it a lot better than this. Taste is nice. I was, on a, I was surprised <coughs> that it didn't rise so much as normal. It was over the time limit. 35. It's cooked the top. It's crunchy. Is that how it is, guys? Have you cooked one before? Doesn't it rise as much? Might be my oven. Anne told me to preheat it. 180. And that's what I did. Mm. I'm like I'm liking it, it's nice. As I say, you've got to like that soggy pastry underneath. It's a, like a, a bit of a sauce though. It's still a, it's still a liquidy sauce. A few odds and odd chunks here and there of some kidney, uh, of some steak. The taste is lovely. What more can I say? So it's, um, where are we? The classic, back to our classic which I don't agree, but I don't remember. Do you remember what happened years ago? Steak and kidney, Frey Bentos, better meat, more of it. 